Hi hey everyone, um, this is going to be a haul video. Um, it isn't everything that I've bought recently, but it's just some of, some of the things I've bought that I'd like to show you. Um, so yeah. Okay, so the first thing that I have is probably one of the most talked about things on YouTube at the moment. Um, and it is the Urban Decay Naked Palette. Um, this got released in the US um, before it got released in the UK. Um, it never got released here until the 23rd of August. Um, and then it was only in House of Fraser and then sometime in the beginning of September um, it got released nationwide. Um, so yeah, but I bought, I ordered it online um, the day it got released um, because my um, nearest House of Fraser doesn't stock um, Decay anymore. Um, so yeah, I ordered it, ordered it online um, and I received it three or four days after I ordered it. Um, and I was actually quite excited to get this. Um, because even though I don't wear neutrals that often, um, it actually come in handy and the timing was quite good because um, obviously I'm still in school um, and they don't really like it when you wear a lot of makeup so this has actually come in quite handy. Um, I'm now wearing neutrals today and I actually have the day off school today because um, of some training thing um, that's happening but yeah. Um, so I, I ordered it um, this is what it looks like, you've probably all seen it because they're about a gazillion videos on YouTube where a lot of people have it at the moment um, and I have had it a while and this is only the first time I'm showing it but um, yeah I was quite excited um, and it is quite versatile like you can create um, like smoky eyes with it as well and then very very neutral um, so it is I, I recommend it for everyone no matter what your favourite look to do is um, just because it is versatile um, and there's so many different shades in there um, so yeah, I'm actually thinking about getting it for my sister's birthday because she um, only really wears neutrals if she does wear makeup. Um, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> um, and it also comes with a double-ended eyeliner. The brown side is called Whiskey um, and the black side is obviously Zero. Um, I've been using that quite a lot as well on my waterline. Um, it's very, very smooth to apply. Um, the eyeshadow is also like very, very buttery. I don't know if that makes sense, but like they're so smooth to use I really really like it um, and it also comes with a, a mini Urban Decay primer potion um, and I must say I'll, it's, it's okay it's not my favourite I still prefer my Too Faced shadow insurance like I've been wearing Too Faced on one side and Urban Decay on the other um, just to compare the two um, and just a really quick review I guess um, this one um, kind of feels more dry on the lid. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, and Too Faced finishes to a more kind of, it has more of a, I don't know, a silky finish to it. I don't know if that makes sense. And this is more of a matte feel to it. I really don't know if I'm making sense. But yeah, that's what I, um, I feel is the difference between the two. And also, this creases slightly on me. Like um, the eyeshadow. Um, kind of wears away in my crease and stuff when I wear this but with Too Faced it stays all day um, so yeah but it is a good primer it's, it's, it's okay but I still prefer my Too Faced um, so yeah okay so that's enough about the Naked palette um, that was quite a long little talk about it but yeah okay so then I also treated myself to some MAC well the light um, I got two eyeshadows, two um, blushes and a brush I'll start off with the eyeshadows. I got um, this one is antique and it's a Luxe Pearl. I've wanted this for a while. I saw it online, um, but I'd never buy eyeshadows online off of Mac just because I like to see them in person first. Because sometimes the swatches can be really different. Um, so I got this one. Um, it's really, really, really nice. I really like it. Um, it's like it's just like an antique bronze colour. Um, it's really, really nice to apply. Um, I wear it with the next one I'm going to show you now, um, and this I wear this in my crease, and then this one is Amber um, Lights, and it's a frost, and I wear this on the lid. Um, I really like wearing these two colours together, and they look really nice together. Sometimes I wear them to school because they're quite, um, well, I guess they're kind of neutral, but with a kick, and um, they're kind of more on the bronzy side. Um, so yeah, I really, really like them too. Um, and then the blushes I got are Peachy Keen um, and Dolly Mix. This is Peachy Keen. It is just like a 
a peachy colour with like a gold peachy shimmer in it. Um, it is very, very nice. Um, I just asked the makeup artist there on the day to recommend a couple new blushes to me. Um, and these are the two she recommended. Um, and then this is Dolly Mix. I have it on today, but my lighting is a bit bright, so I don't know if you can see it. But Dolly Mix is kind of really bright. I don't know. This isn't showing up as how bright it is. There we go. But it doesn't... I just use a really light hand with it. And obviously then it won't go on as bright as it looks. When she um, actually got this out to sh um, like off the display to show me, I was just like, where are you going with that? Um, but yeah, I actually really like it. Um, and then I got the 217 brush, which I've wanted for ages. Um, sorry it's dirty, but I just used it to film a tutorial. Um, so yeah. Okay, and then I've got a couple of Lancome things. I got one of their mascaras, and it's the Hypnose Precious Cells Mascara. It looks like this. Um, I was going to get the um, Hypnose Drama, um, but the lady kind of talked me into getting this one because this um, supposedly makes your lashes grow thicker and longer and stuff, um, and makes your lashes fuller. Um, and I have noticed a difference. I haven't been using it long enough to notice a dramatic difference, but I have noticed my lashes are slightly longer. Um, and my lashes are quite long anyway, so I didn't think it was going to work with making them longer, um, but it did. Um, and it also, my eyelashes do look fuller, but I don't think it's because it makes more lashes grow, if that makes sense. I just think where it has a lash, lash serum in it, it just stops more, like, it stops your lashes kind of coming out when you take your mascara off, if that makes sense. So you know sometimes you're taking your mascara off and it's kind of hard to come off and some lashes... Um, come out well this is so easy to take off that no lashes come out so I just think where less lashes are falling out your eyelashes are then fuller um, so yeah and then I also got one of the juicy tubes and it's in caramel gospel I really really like this colour um, it is a bit sticky though but what can you do um, and then on the day I got it you got a free gift you got a lipstick um, a mini perfume a cleanser and an eye makeup remover and then you get um, a small thing of their Genifique Youth Activating Serum um, an anti-aging cream I gave them two products to my mum and then a mini sample of the Hypnos Drama Mascara and I gave that to my mum's friend um, because Lancome don't have testers so she wanted to try out the mascara before she bought it so I just gave her that one um, but this is the lipstick it's just a red lipstick um, and then it also comes with the eye makeup remover, um, the little perfume and then the cleanser and then the other things I mentioned which I haven't got. Um, so yeah, I also got one of the Maybelline Dream Mousse blushes in number 4 Mauve. Um, I haven't tried any of the Maybelline Mousse products before so I thought I'd give this a go. Um, I really really like it. Um, I used it quite a lot until I got my MAC blushes and then it just kind of got pushed aside. Um, but yeah, um, and also I got some Bloom products um, I wanted to try um, because I see it every time I go in Superdrug um, and I always look at it and think it's a bit pricey for a drugstore brand but I actually just gave in and bought some of their stuff and I'm glad I did because I do like them. Um, the first thing I've got is one of their shadow liners in soft taupe. I'm not really a brown eyeliner person, especially this um, light brown, um, but it's got like a purple tint to it which is nice. Um, I don't know if you're going to see it, it's there. Um, it looks kind of purpley, which I like. Um, and I just kind of put eyeshadows over it. Like I'll put this on my lower lash line and put an eyeshadow over it. Um, so I like that. And I also got one of their lip tints. Um, and this one is actually just called Tint. Um, and it's just like a sheer kind of berry colour, I guess. Um, it's there. It looks kind of glossy, which I like. Um, but it's not sticky or anything, so I like that. Um, and I also got two of their blushes. I got a cream blush. Um, this is the this is in coral, and they're called the Sheer Color Cream Blushes. Um, this is coral. Um, I really really like this color. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and they're not that sheer. Um, you have to kind of use a really light hand with it. I don't know if you saw that swatch because the light. The sun has come out from behind the clouds now. 
um, so it's kind of streaming through my windows. Um, and then I've got one of their um, Pure Mineral Radiant Touch Blushes in Peach. I'm not going to swatch this one because obviously it's loose and it's messy, um, but that's what it looks like. Um, and then I've got two of their brushes. I got the concealer brush and um, the liquid foundation brush. Um, I don't actually use this for concealer. I use this for eyeshadow. And it's very, very good for packing on colour. Um, and then the liquid foundation brush. I've used this once. Um, and it's actually very, 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 very nice. It, it doesn't make my foundation look streaky. It blends it nicely. It applies it nicely. Um, it is very nice. Um, so yeah, I enjoy using this brush. Um, yeah, and then the last thing I have um, is actually from Lush, um, and it's the Fresh Pharmacy, um, I guess, cleanser. It's like a, it looks like a bar of soap, and it's a facial cleanser. Um, and I watched a few reviews of this on YouTube, and I also um, read a review, like a blog review on this. Um, so I decided to get it. It is quite big. I've only used it once, so I can't give you my opinion on it. Um, but the smell isn't that nice. Um, but it like it never broke me out or anything, so I guess that's a plus. It smells kind of I don't know. I can't describe it. It's kind of like a medicine-y smell. Um, so yeah, but I like this so far, even though I've only used it once. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna see how much I like this, and I'll either do a a review on here or on my blog um, so yeah I hope you like this video that is pretty much everything I have to show you now I oh, know it isn't I have um, three more things um, that's the last of the makeup stuff though these are just things my sisters got me um, the first thing well they're both necklaces but the first one I'll show you is from Miss Selfridge um, I got this well, my sister got this for me, and it was half price. It was meant to be £18, um, and she got it for £9. Um, it's just like a layered necklace like this. It's really, really long, and it has pearls on it. Um, and then the fabric that it's on, it's like a floral pattern. And I don't normally wear things like this. I normally go for more of the um, grungy kind of look. Um, but I don't know. I could. I'm going to work with this. Um, she said it would look really, really nice on me. And I guess it would look nice with just like a plain white top and like a blue cardigan or something. Um, so yeah, I really, really do like that though. Um, and I'm kind of getting into the retro style kind of thing now. So yeah. And then I've got this necklace from River Island, which I've now tangled up. There we go. Um, and it looks like this. It's got loads of different layers in it. It's got loads of different dangly bits. Like this is more of my style. Like um, it's kind of got like these daggery things on it, keys, crosses, um, chains, like a uh, link chains and stuff. Um, so I really, really like this. This is definitely my style. Um, I haven't worn it yet, but I don't know. I really, really love that. Um, and then they got me a scarf from River Island also. Um, it looks like this. I really, really like this. It's one of them scarves. I don't know if you've seen it before, but like, there's no end to it. It's just like a big circle, and you just kind of like wrap it round, however you want it to be, and just put it over your head. Like I like to wear it like doubled like this. Um, and my sister likes to wear these kind of scarves like wrapped around three times and stuff. Um, so I really, really like that. Um, I haven't worn that yet either but I don't know, when it starts to get a bit colder, it'll be perfect. Um, so yeah, that is everything now, honestly. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.